Breaking news, Nigerians. Governor Hope Uzodima finally reveals those responsible for artificial insecurity in Imo State. Governor Hope Uzodima has claimed that the insecurity being witnessed in the Southeast State is artificial. The Imo State governor also insisted that he will ensure an open system of governance where power resides with the people. Meanwhile, the influential Southeast governor also promised to ensure a free and fair elections as the country heads to pull this year. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Governor Hope Zodima reiterated his commitment to an open system of governance where power resides with the people. The Imo State Governor disclosed this while commending the Lansom officers for their consistency to the deals of the party. The Governor stated that he failed efforts of the opposition and uh, the politically sponsored his insecurity in the state are uh, in vain and will soon come to an end the cable newspaper report. His Excellency assured them that his government will provide the necessary measures for a free, fair, and safe elections. He added that he will not be cowed by desperate politicians working to disfranchise in the Imo by causing artificial insecurity in the state. In another report, the All Progressive Congress APC Women in the Southeast on Tuesday, January 17, held a presidential rally for the party's presidential candidate, Ashiwe Jubola Ahmed Tunubu, and his running mate, Shatima, Senator Shatima uh, Kasim Inoweri, the Imo State capital. Six, those who are uh, sponsoring insecurity in Imo states at the opposition party. This man will not get tired of all these their blame tactics. Well, it's common with APC government. They will blame anything for their failure. That is why today they have not still find solutions to the problems Nigerians are facing. Everything, anything, you will blame. This blame game is not even helping anybody. And you continue doing this. That is how you know people who have nothing to offer. Instead of you to swing into actions, you know the reason why there is problem in your state, but you are just shining away from it. You don't want to talk about it. That will not solve the problem more calling opposition party every now and then and all that will not solve the problem. But the problem can only be solved when you are beginning to get serious and look into the root of the insecurity in your state. Not be saying anything that happens. You go, they call opposition. The other day he said uh, the killings in uh, in Imo state, they are just targeting, um, what are they called? APC chieftains and all that. All those things are not, I don't, I don't just understand. Because that is not the issue now. The problem is everybody is being affected. Whether you be APC or you be PDP, or you not be any party members at all. The problem is really very bad. The situation is bad. I think it's high time you people will stop this blaming here and this and that and face the, the, the real problem because this APC government, every one of them, they, they just have this kind of um, one method, you understand, that they don't really face the main thing. Instead, they will start blaming uh, COVID-19. <laughs> that is what the federal government of Nigeria, COVID-19, contributed to their failure um answers protest to so the extent say Buhari don't even cause say a uh, Ukraine war. Russia and Ukraine war don't affect Nigeria economy. 
So you see, I am saying it again. People who are good in blaming people, people who are good in shifting the real thing from themselves to suit whatever thing they are trying to do or say, those people can never get it correctly. Because these are the people who will never take correction. When you are trying to correct them, I see this thing when they do, not be this, not be as if they go, eh? It be. They go tell you saying and so. In the first place, you have so many problems, so many issues. You don't even know where all these things are coming from. You deploy soldiers to kill your people in the name of fighting agitators. You have issues with um, Rocha Sokorocha. Rocha Sokorocha is not a PDP member, it's not opposition. You have issue with Aruma, Abi Arume, whatever the uh, in, in name like that. You have issue with Iedora. You understand? And if you look at what happened in Imo State, the people you both have issues with, they are even from your the same party. You understand? The same party. Something will happen. The next thing, Imo State Police Command, they don't rush, go media, go talk, say, I pop agitators, ESN. Then those people, when be saying that, then they do the real thing. You, you can't push them, go free heaven now. They go to enjoy. How you go they get them? When you don't get your real facts before you make statements. That is the issue. Now you are stuck. The problem is multiplying every day. You don't even know where to start from. You are asking people to go and vote. It's okay. People should go and vote. It's our right to do that. But how are you sure of their life? Because if you are going out, you are with, you know, multiple of uh, people in uniform protecting you. What of the poor man out there who is protecting them? Make peace in your state and hit the root, the, 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 the root of the problem. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.